Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out uh, can you upgrade your Acer Travelmate P215 and of course you're gonna see how you can open up this laptop and you're gonna see what's happening inside of it as well. First things first you need to remove all the screws pointed there on the back panel. You need a very standard Phillips screwdriver for that like I have there. I'm gonna leave the link in description. It's a great one. It 57 in one so it's going to be useful in other jobs as well as you see some of the screws can be different lengths so do remember where you took them out and keep them separate so when you start putting them back you ain't gonna damage your laptop Okay, screws are removed, uh, you are good to go to lift the back panel, it does come off quite easy. I'm using plastic tool like that there, if you don't have it you can use something plasticky, uh, credit card, whatever. Even your fingers will do, just don't use metal, I don't recommend it, you will break the, either the base or the laptop itself, so do be careful. It does come off easy as I said, so there's no point to panic there or you know. Okay, that's it. That's your bit of a detail there. Travelmate P215. And that's the closer look now inside of the back panel as well. And we have a bunch of great news here. Upgradable, two RAM slots, a solid state drive there, upgradable. So all good news, except of course CPU, which you can't upgrade anymore in a lot of the newer laptops. That's your battery now with the serial number on it, so if you are looking for a spare part, it's gonna be easier for you to find. And before you start upgrading, uh, we get to that later, I do recommend uh, disconnecting battery itself as well. That's your solid state drive. At the moment, there's a 512 gigabyte in it. We gonna upgrade that to the one terabyte. And as I said before, RAM is upgradable, great news. At the moment there's eight gigabyte stick in it. We're gonna upgrade that later as well. You, you will see what size we're gonna put in there. So, And that's the second slot, which is empty at the moment. So great news with, news with this laptop. So I'm quite happy actually. And, and surprised same time, two RAM slots. So good news. That's your CPU. This one has i5 10th generation. Not not upgradable, if you will ask me that, it, it is not, like, so, that's your CPU fan. And that's your Wi-Fi card, of course. We're gonna have a closer look now as well, so you will see all the components closer. That's your battery again, with the serial number on it, so if you are looking for spare, it's just gonna be so much easier to find it. And that's your battery connection there. That's your solid state drive, and as I said at the moment, there's 512 gigs in it. That's your RAM, both slots 1 and 2, at the moment 8 gigs in it. That's your CPU, of course, under that little thing. And that's a CPU fan, as I said before. And of course, Wi-Fi card as well, bit of a closer look there. It's an Intel, good one, I suppose. And as I said before, before you start upgrading it, I do recommend disconnecting battery just for safety, so you won't get any shorts or anything on the circuit, so it does come off easy enough. Just remove that little cover there and pull back the connection itself, you see? It does come off easy, so... But same time, many times I left it there and was no hassle either. That's your RAM slot number one, we're gonna upgrade that now. And as I said, 8 gigabyte in it at the moment. Which will be enough to run the windows and a few other bits, but uh, it's always better to have more. So I don't think it's never enough with RAM anyway, so. And that's what's gonna go in now, 16 gigabyte stick. 
it's a lower speed but uh, there'll be more RAM so I'm gonna put 32 gigs in total so that's one 16 gigabyte stick and in a second now I'm gonna put the second one in as well same RAM 16 gigs as well so in total this laptop will have 32 gigs and later on we're gonna put into Windows so you're gonna actually see the bit of a specs of this laptop so you will see 32 gigs is working on it so I can say personally test it working so next thing here is the solid state drive with holes in place in that, that one little screw there is just remove that and of course keep it somewhere you can always find it later and just gently pull it out now there you go okay that's the closer look now on it great drive actually not a bad one but the reason i'm upgrading this is just to get more space on it and that's it like There you go, a bit of detail now on that sticker as well. Okay, that's the one that's going in now. It's a Samsung 970 EVO Plus. One terabyte, of course, as I said, there's a bit of a detail there as well. I'm going to leave the link in the description uh, for very same one or similar one. So if you are looking for one, this is guaranteed working now. I've been using them on several different laptops, great drives, good speeds and a lot of storage space as well. So and they're cheap at the moment. So good deal. There you go, a bit of a closer look again. And just same way, just slide it in gently there, it will go in quite easy and put the screw back in and great news, we are finished actually upgrading. After that now, what's left to do is, of course, you have to connect the battery in again. Don't do mistakes what I've done in the past, uh, get all excited, all upgrading done, put the back panel back and then, oh, battery is not connected. So I have to go back and remove all the screws and connect the battery. So do that before. I do recommend that. Saves you a few minutes of your time. And put that little dinghy, the cover back again, and that's it. Yep, upgrading done. So what's left to do now is back cover goes back on and we can go to Windows and see. I'm just, it's gonna be just a short little clip there. We're gonna go to Windows. I'm gonna show you the specs that actually the upgrading does work. You're gonna see the one terabyte drive there working and of course 32 gigs of RAM as well. And few other specs, probably CPU and stuff like that. I'm not gonna go into too much detail now. If you are looking for more specs of this laptop, you can probably just YouTube it and see what's happening there. Okay, screws are going back in, and once they're back in, we gonna be booting into Windows now. That is it. Upgrading done. Laptop closed, and we can now just boot it to Windows. There we go. Just gonna right click, go to properties. And there you go. That's your trial mate P215 52, 32 gigs as you see, and Intel i5 CPU. So I, I'm not fooling you here, it does work, and 32 gigs will do you for years. So and this is kind of a, it's not a gaming laptop anyway, so, but it, it's good if you are editing your maybe Excel files, Word, whatever. There's your drive, one terabyte. I'm gonna go to device manager now and show you some more specs there. And that's pretty much it then after that. So hopefully this now is helpful for you there who's looking for a bit of detail about this laptop, what you can upgrade, what you can't upgrade. and. If that's anyway helpful at all, like the video, subscribe, of course. And uh, most important thing here, have a good life. Bye bye.